Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Stoneheart Alpha 9. Alpha 9, that's Software Inc. Alpha 9. Welcome back to Stoneheart Alpha 20. There we go, got it right, that's fine, beautiful, job done. See you next time! No. Uh, so... So this is Stoneheart Alpha 20, uh, part 10, I think. I'm never sure what part of uh, the series it is. I think this one's part 10, though. Uh, and we currently have my hearthlings digging out this massive area here. Because they're working on what's gonna become a town center. Now, it is gonna be a little bit bland to begin with, I will say, because it is just gonna be some blue borders with uh, a nice sort of off-white base in here. But eventually, we're gonna get rid of this building. And eventually, this is no- I mean, did I- I called this like the town hall originally, didn't I? That's not really what this is. Eventually, we're gonna have to build an actual proper looking town hall, but for the time being, that'll do the job as the town hall. Uh, we also have our bridge over here, which is pathetic looking, really, let's be honest, but it does the job, so that's fine. That's all I need it to do, the job, and nothing beyond that, so... We'll not- we'll not worry too much about the fact that the bridge does look a little bit terrible. Uh, here's a question. Should they- they should be mining out- Oh, they're not mining out the upper bits, are they? Yeah, that's a problem. Um... Oh, but they might do it now. They should be mining out a little bit of the green around the edges as well, but they just don't seem to be doing it. Which is really strange, actually. I don't know, the build- the building's been a bit weird with this. The game isn't a huge fan of the fact that you try to make- or I try to make- these huge areas, but hopefully... Hopefully the hearthlings will get around to it eventually. Now here's a question. Can my carpenter make a... a thing? I mean, he can make many things, but what I mean is... Uh, is it the carpenter? Maybe not. Is it the blacksmith? Yeah, maybe. Um... No, I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, so the blacksmith can make a decorative scout gong, which will attract, uh, more enemies. Now, I probably don't want to do that, to be honest. Oh, they are mining this side. Beautiful. They'll get around to doing the, uh, the entire thing eventually, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, I, I probably don't want to attract enemies for the time being. I kind of like the fact that we have a bit of peace at the moment. I like the fact that we're not getting constantly attacked at the moment. It's nice. It's a nice change of pace. So if we can keep that, that's gonna be good. I will admit, I'm a little bit concerned by the fact that it looks like they've all decided to go and haul stuff rather than continue mining or continue building. Not really sure what's going on with that. Oh no, you're conti- okay, so you are getting on with the mining. You're just all really taking your time. It's being done in a weird way, but it should be okay. I can't imagine it'll be too much of a problem to put down one or two layers of, uh, of stuff. So hopefully that'll get done soon enough. Anyway, uh, whilst they're doing that, we do need to continue working on improving our net worth. So, what I'm gonna do is actually build another one of these buildings here. And I'm gonna put it over here. So, let's go into build and design, custom, and we want the crafting and storage barn. Uh, rugged survivalist. I don't really want anything, but I could absolutely sell a bunch of uh, wool just there. So that'll be fine. Uh, so yeah, we want the uh, the crafting and storage barn. We're gonna go ahead and build it, and I want to put it like I want to put it in there. I kind of want to get it as close to the fence as I can get it as well. So something like that should be fine. Although moving it back is gonna be a pain because I don't want it to be. I want it to sort of be, yeah, I want it to be closer to the cliff, so I'm gonna need to go in and I'm gonna need to move the berry bushes. So the berry bushes can... move to down here, I think. Possibly. Where could I put them? Where would make sense for some berry bushes? Uh... Let's just move them in general, I guess. Let's just, like, get them down here out of my way. Because, yeah, I'd, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to place another storage barn. Because that will bring our net worth up, because it is going to let us, uh, well, it's going to be valuable in and of itself, and it's going to let us do stuff. Now, what's going on over this way? Uh, some significant mining going on at the moment, which is good to see. Not entirely sure how they can, uh, how they're going to get out of there. I realize they are, in fact, stuck at the moment. 
which is probably a problem, but I'm going to let them remain stuck until they get everything mined out that's not currently mined out. Because it seems like, to be honest, it's probably their own fault. Because they do need to go and mine out some of the bits around here. Now, daily updates come in. Uh, that's fine. Uh, that's all been moved, which is great news. So let's go in and build a crafting and storage barn. Uh, so I want that to go right in there, possibly. Maybe maybe bring it out a little bit further, sort of like that. Or bring, well, you know what? Put it like there. And that should be fine. So crafting and storage barn right there. We'll get it built. Actually, you know what? We'll say not yet. We'll keep it there as a thing that can be built, but we'll say we don't want it built just yet. So that'll be fine. That'll go in eventually. These guys here are... Well, they're getting work done. Uh, he's, for some reason, placed that in there already, which is an interesting choice. Um, there we go. Looks like the rest of that might get done. Hopefully. Are we going to get those edges mined out? Because for some reason, this guy is placing the bits in all the corners, but they haven't done anything else at the moment. Which is really strange. Are you going to mine any of the rest of that out? Or is it just being left as is? Because these guys here will start starving eventually, but at the moment they're okay. So I guess we'll see. So you've all mined, you've mined everything out of there now, so what are you going to do? You're going to go start working on that. Oh, but you can get out now, which is good. That'll let them get out of there, which is beautiful news. It's also going to let them get to work on the cover for the quarry, which is also beautiful news. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do, actually. Whilst they're working on that, I want to come over here and see what else I can fit in this space. Because I do want to start putting farms out here and all that stuff. I do want to start soon, anyway, uh, working towards aesthetics. So this is going to be like a little industrial space. Uh, what I might do as well is put more storage in these side bits. And then, maybe not, maybe not right away, but eventually I'd like to put more storage in the side bits and have... Oh, hello, engine error. Not, let's not worry about that too much. Uh, eventually, I would like to give everyone like their own building to craft all their stuff. And this this is like a lot later down the line when, when we have more hearthlings and when we have the resources and when things are okay. Uh, now, there's invaders approaching from up there, which is just a wee bit worrying. But red team can head over and attack them and we should be all right. Uh, alert mode, please. There we go. So red team's going to wreck that guy. Uh, red team is then going to wreck that guy. If they wouldn't mind. There we go. And then this guy. If they also wouldn't mind. And then the last one as well. All right. Time alert mode switched off. Uh, that guy that was injured will probably be okay. Is he actually... Is his... Is he carrying that? Yeah, he is carrying that differently to how people usually carry stuff. I didn't realize that they had like a proper little like... Oh, he's sad. He's glum. I'm sorry, buddy. You'll be all right, though. Everything will be okay. Poor guy. I actually kind of feel bad for him. Anyway, let's, uh, let's see in here. We are producing so much wool. I'm just going to sell all of it. We might as well. It's not like we're going to... There we go, we've already got more, so we should be fine there. Uh, so you guys are finally building all of that. It really doesn't seem like they're going to build these bits in here, though, does it? I don't know if they are. I feel like the, the building might have might have been a little bit weird, but... Oh, no, there they go. They're digging it out now. That's good. So we are going to get the blue edges. It's just that some of it is being strange. Like, this bit here hasn't actually been mined out for some reason. Which is really odd. That's that's really odd the way this is going. Whatever. I, th I don't think there's any reason to uh, worry about it. We're going to have a nice tone sensor either way. It's going to look beautiful. And uh, it's obviously something that we need. Obviously. Uh, obviously, we needed a tone sensor. Can we go kill this giant zombie, please? I'd really like to do that. So go kill that guy. And uh, we can get the loot as well. Because we might as well. Oh, God, the footmen, they're so quick. Don't die, please. Oh, no, we're fine. So what was in the chest? That? 
bit of silver ore. All right. Uh, food, our oh, net worth is uh, is very close to being there for a 26th hearthling. Not bad at all. Oh, they're covering this already. Beautiful. Oh, this is going to look so good. It really, it's going to look amazing having this all covered. It's going to look like there wasn't even a quarry there. Especially once we get a building up here to cover the entrance. I am really pleased with this. Like, really, really, really pleased with this. We've got so many resources. We have, like, nearly 26 hearthlings. We have access to the island. Which has me very tempted to try and, like, make a way for hearthlings to get to the island in case of emergency. I feel like that's something I want to try. Because we could have, like, the, the town banner thing be over on the island. And then we could, uh have them all run there in case of emergency. That would be interesting, but it seems like an awful long way to go for something that I don't think will give us any benefit. Although what we could do is we could work on building like a massive underground layer over here. That's an idea, although that would defeat the purpose of the bridge because then in theory we could have just tunneled from here. But if we dug down a few, like a couple of levels here and then started expanding out in like a fallout shelter bunker style, that would be kind of cool. That's got me, uh, that's got me kind of curious as to whether or not I want to do that. I might look into it. Anything in here I want to sell? Uh, not really. Not really at all, to be honest. There's nothing that's, uh, that we're in desperate need of, of selling, so. I don't think we'll bother too much with that. Uh, construction is not as quick as I'd like it to be, I'll be honest. It is taking a little while, but, uh. Don't know what happened to my throat there, either. My, or my voice, not my throat. I'll be honest, my throat didn't go weird, my voice did. Anyway, let's get this construction done and then figure out where we're going from there. Because there is still a lot, of, a lot of work to do. I also realized that I didn't actually mine these bits out here at the side of the building. So that's, that's kind of annoying, to be honest. So I find some enemies just out here, as well as another giant zombie. So Rad Team's currently on the way to uh, dispatch them very, very quickly, so we can uh, take all their stuff. Uh, is that a cleric? No. They do sometimes have clerics around here, but yeah, that's not actually a cleric. Uh, looks like they're not going to be too difficult to kill here either, which is good news. Looks like we've decided to pick a fight with the giant zombie, which is fair enough. Uh, daily update, what have we got? We have the food, or the worth, not the food. We do have the food as well, but yeah. We have a 26th hard thing which is good. Caleb Homer. I'm pretty sure the surname of our previous, uh, the 25th Hearthling was Homer as well, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, was it Dara? I think it was Dara Homer. Yeah, it was. Fair enough. Fair enough. He's, is he old looking or is that blonde hair? It's difficult to tell. I'm not too so concerned, really. I'm just curious. Uh, I am, however, a little bit concerned with the fact that Tan Morale is still content. No one is, like, overjoyed or anything? I wonder if I... Hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try and build them all like an individual house and then assign the... It does mean we need 26 houses, but I like the idea. Now, hold on a second. You guys are attacking? Or are you... Are you actually attacking or are you just... You're just stood out there? Uh, red team, can you go stand up there for a minute? Because I'm pretty sure that there's nothing they can do if we... Okay, yeah, so the archers are in the tower, doing a pretty good job there. But everybody just go attack them, please. Oh, hold on, they've got clerics. Kill the clerics. There we go, and kill the cleric. There we go, that's gonna make life a lot easier. Who's left? There's an archer, who is about to get destroyed. There we go, come on. Job done, right, beautiful. So, 26 houses. Let's see what we can do with this. Let's design a building. Let's go foundations. Let's build it room by room. So, the entrance doesn't need to be huge. I think the entrance can be 7 by... 7 by 3 for the entrance. And that'll be fine. Entrance way is going to have a nice wooden floor. We're going to go for a nice dark wooden floor. Uh, the hallway 
is gonna run... I guess done like that. That'll be fine. No, they don't need a kitchen. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, now, the hallway is going to be a bit of a different wood. Maybe just for the time being, I'll do it in this color so I can tell that it is the hallway. Now, the problem is I can't actually put, like, freestanding walls in here, which is a bit of a pain, but I'll make it work. Uh, let's go for, like, a dark red for, like, a living room space where they can just sit. So, the living room space is sort of going to be like this. They can have a little bit of, like, personal storage or something. Just, like, back here, I guess. Sure, I'll put, like, a little chest in there or something. And then this space back here could be, like, a something or other. I don't know what this space will actually be. Uh, but let's make that space out of a sort of, like, lighter red material, just so, you know, there we go. So that's, like, a little storage room, which can come off of this room. That's, like, a little living room. This is, like, a little hallway. And that should be fine. So can I just place, yeah, so all the walls go on that. And that's fine. Maybe that can be, like, a little back entrance to the house as well, because that is... That would work. That absolutely would work. So... Hold on. What what are the specifics in walls? Like, walls... How do I get walls to just go in, like, one section of floor? I can't hold control or anything. Click a floor plan to add walls. Yes, yeah, so that's... That's... Okay. Can I just add freestanding walls? Like, is that a thing I can do? Because if I go like this... Then I go like this... Then... To there... I can outline the entire thing, like that. Uh, but then if I want to add walls on the inside, it's gonna... I can't just add a pillar. So if I wanted to add a wall across there that doesn't have the weird pillar on the inside... I mean, I don't think I can do it from there either. Oh, I can. Oh, that doesn't work. Not properly. Because that gives me a freestanding wall that... Yeah, that's... It's really strange the way the freestanding walls work in this. Like, that'll work and give me a double pillar, which doesn't look very good at all. Uh, and then I can't actually add a wall there either. So that's annoying, but we're just going to have to deal with the double pillars on the inside. So what I want to do is I want to make this a small room like that. Then I want to do... A small thing like that. And then I can't bring a wall from there to there without double pillaring in that spot and also in that spot. But that's going to just have to do. So that's okay. It doesn't look amazing, but it'll do the job. Uh, in terms of windows, we could go for some clay windows on this. We could go for some blue clay windows on this. But I think I'll go for a nice, like, wide... Oh, I can't really go for a, a wide living room window there. Let's go for, um... Could go for two of those, but then they'll walk in through that window, which I don't want them to do. So can I just do this instead? It seems I can't put windows on top of each other, which is annoying. Not directly on top of each other anyway. I think I can I can stack them just in strange ways. Okay. So that's not the design we're going for either. Maybe we will just go for the tall ones. Although we have these. We have the tall clay windows. Which are just holes in the wall, which, I mean, all these are as well. So maybe we go for the clay ones. Although I feel like they're going to stand out too much. I also didn't look at wall materials. Yeah, the walls are actually going to be really dark on this, which I kind of don't want. I kind of want the walls to be light. Oh, God, this is going to take a while. Oh, no, I can just click on them, can't I? Beautiful. Okay, this took way, way too long. So much longer than I'd even thought it would. But this is a one-person home. Uh, it does have a little bedroom upstairs. There's lights all through it. There's a little staircase here. Uh, it's going to be really difficult to show, but there is a hallway downstairs with some storage in the back room. There's storage in that back room as well. And then there's two places to sit in the living room there. So they can have friends over if they want to. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is say I'm finished editing that and then remove it because I have already saved the blueprint for that building. And uh, we're eventually going to go ahead and place that. Now, it looks like they've actually finished the placement of all of this, which is beautiful news. So, I'm going to click on this building and have it removed. 
because I want to put a row of my new houses over here, if at all possible. So remove this building. There we go. Uh, that's just left a lot of stuff. That's just left a lot. Are you still sat there eating? You know, sat in the ground eating because the chair you were on collapsed along with the building you were in. Uh, yeah, that would probably that would probably freak you out a little bit, to be honest, wouldn't it? That would definitely be an interesting moment, I feel. I feel like you would definitely have an interesting story to tell. It's like, oh, I was in a building, and then it and then it wasn't, basically. It's, uh, yeah, that'd be, that'd be a, certainly an interesting tale to tell, let's put it that way. Uh, let's go ahead and have all of this put in here. And that goes to there. That goes to there. Then we fill all of this space in like so, and all of that space too. And that should be relatively easy to do. So finished editing, build, and start building. Please be the right color. It doesn't, I don't know if it will be, but we'll find out. So they're going to go dig that all up and then put the last bit of floor in. And then what I can do is hopefully place my new building. So if I go to here and I say place building, my one person home, uh, build, I absolutely can. Beautiful. So uh, rotate that this way. And let's throw it in over here somewhere. Somewhere like uh, like that, I think. So that would go there. And then I want to place another one, which is going to go next to it. Sort of uh, there. Then I want to go down to this. Oh, I can't go down to this end yet. Okay, so we'll have we'll have three of those put in right next to each other just here. And that should be totally okay. So three of those, we can get another probably two in there. They're not going to be spaced out perfectly, but that's okay. So finished editing and start building. Uh, finished editing and build. And finished editing and build. I'm not really sure what the game's going to do with these because they technically need to dig out the... Yeah, so they're just going to they're gonna double place everything. So the inside of these buildings is going to have some Z fighting going on. Which is a little bit worrying. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a pain. That is going to be an absolute pain. I'm probably going to have to get rid of my, uh, my town center. Which is a crushing piece of news, I'm sure. I'm sure everyone was so excited to see this finished. Uh, but we are going to have to just straight up remove it. Because it doesn't really work. Uh, and apparently I double layered that. Oh god, hold on a minute. I know what I've done. That's, that, wait, that's, that was its own building. That's fine. So remove that as well. Uh, remove, like so. So that should be fine, right? Yeah. Oh god, they're floating, though! <laughs> okay, hold up. Hold. <laughs> oh god. I have made a mistake. Uh, <laughs> remove this building, please. Um, right. Okay. Uh, so you guys are stuck there at the moment, aren't you? Okay. Uh, let's get a ladder there so they can get out. Which hopefully they can do. Now you've gone to sleep, which is okay. Uh, you're going to build the ladder? Yeah. So now you can get out of there. That's fine. Right. Right. Okay. Let me um, very quickly design a new building. Because technically... Uh, I can. I, I can go in here like this, and I can say- wait, is that still gonna be Z fighting there? Oh, it is, isn't it? Okay, that's- that really didn't solve any of my problems. Hold on, I have a solution. So we're just gonna build them here, basically. We're gonna have two of the new houses just here, and that's fine. Uh, admittedly, I could have totally put them over there, which I feel would have made even more sense. Maybe we'll put a few over there. Uh, for the meantime, I would like to, to uh, go ahead and tear these trees down because I would actually like to free up this room to uh, potentially get some houses over there. I feel like that could be a really good idea. Uh, this building here might eventually be got rid of, but for the time being, it will totally be fine as well. A lot of people just sat about here. A lot of people just sat about there, but that's probably okay. Uh, construction has already begun on the buildings here quite nicely as well. One of the trees gone, a couple more trees going as well. I think I will try and get, uh, I might be able to get three houses along there. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice indeed to get three houses just along there. 
I just want to get them, you know? I want to get the net worth up a little bit. I want to get more places for people to live. I want people to be happy with where they're living. So, I reckon this might be a pretty good solution to uh, just cheer them up a little bit, really. That's all I want to do. Iron pikes for five, eight, fine, comfy beds. Um, nah. We're good, mate. We're good. Don't worry about it. We don't, we don't want none of what you're selling. Well, in a sense, we do, because I would like to use comfy beds for these, but uh, in another sense, we don't. Oh, man, that net worth needs to climb significantly at the moment. That's going to be a pain. Anybody going to take the trees down, though? Because uh, I'd kind of like you to take the trees down. Also, I'm not sure how long this build's going to take at all. Uh, I should also mention I use different materials for different parts of walls, as you might be able to tell already, but... The reason I'm completely unsure as to how long this is going to take is because I used slabs to make the roof sections because the roof was being a bit of a pain because of the interior walls. So yeah, I'm not really sure on this at all, but it'll probably be alright. It should be fine. Shouldn't be too much of a worry. Seriously, you chopped down all of those trees, but you didn't get the one over here. And now you're not going to bother getting the one over here. Really? You are really going to... And now you're going to collect things and not get the tree at all. Thanks, buddy. Really appreciate your contributions and you nerding him. It's like you don't care. It's like you don't care about my wishes, which you should care. Because uh, this tree needs to go. Just needs to needs to be got rid of. Tell you what we'll do for the time being. We'll go ahead and get uh, a couple more of these in. Since we can. So build and rotate that way. And we'll keep it, you know, that far away from the edge. So, build it. Then, sure, start the building process. That's fine. Uh, let's get another one on the go, which is going to go... Oh, I don't know. What have we done here? Uh, there we go. Grab that, grab that, build. Uh, it's going to go right next to that one, obviously, with a one block gap. And then we can absolutely get another one in there, which will be beautiful news. So, start building that one, too. And then the final one for this little stretch is going to go just like that. There we go. Not bad. Finished editing and build. Uh, we could get another one in here, I suppose. I guess it wouldn't hurt. Let's uh, go for a one-person house and build. And let's... I mean, we could rotate it as well. We could have it that way. I don't think it would hurt to have it that way. Looks a little bit interesting, actually. Yeah. I like it. Not really sure what will go in this space, but... Uh, no, I'll tell you what. We're not going to do that one. Finished editing and remove. There we go. So that's going to be a lot of construction work, is what that's going to be. That is going to be an absolute... Pain. They've already started on the roof. They've already started the roof and haven't done much else. That's a little bit silly. It also looks like a proper little construction site, doesn't it? Like, it's got proper just scaffolding everywhere. I really like that. I really do. I'm also really excited to see this finished. Is the... The potter should be busy, right? Yeah. So the potter has a lot of work to do. <laughs> that, that potter is... Gonna be busy. Gonna be very, very, very busy. Good lord. Uh, good luck with that, is all I'm gonna say. Good luck with your, uh, with your potting. I don't envy you in the slightest, Mr. Slash Mrs. Potter. Oh, hold on a minute. Mr. Potter. No, oh, in my head, I can just hear Alan Rickman saying Mr. Potter. And turn to page 370. Is it 374? I need to Google this. Hold on. Uh, Google, uh, turn to page 394. Is it? Yeah, page 394. I feel like 70 would sound better, though. I mean, doesn't make a difference. I'm just saying, turn to page, turn to page 394. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I prefer 74. I think 74 would be a better, a better page. Invaders. Interesting. Red team, you haven't done anything for a while. Go kill. If you wouldn't mind. Oh, alert mode. Definitely need alert mode. Uh, someone was getting aft up there. Uh, kill you, please. And come on, kill him quickly. There we go. 
Then focus on this guy. Quickly does it. Uh, focus on the pink guy. And focus on that guy. Since he's nice and close. There we go. And then, of course, the last guy. And then alert mode can be turned off as well, because we're pretty much done. Daily update. What do we have? Oh, yeah. That net worth needs to climb quite a bit. Man, we're going to be busy for a while here with this construction. It's going to look good when it's done. It's going to be nice that everyone's going to have their own little home and all that. It is just going to take a while. It's that simple. Also, I know the walls on the inside are different to the walls on the outside. Really? You've already put the curtains up? You've already put the curtains? Seriously? Okay, that, that just seems unnecessary. That seems really strange. It's like, hey, the house is nowhere near being done, but we have our curtains. I I don't I don't know. It's it's like <laughs> it's like oh my grandmother gave me these curtains and uh, she really wanted to see me put them to good use, so I put them up before the house was even done just to shut her up. That's that, I feel like I feel like everyone can relate to that, right? Everyone's grandparents. I feel like your grandparents. At least I mean I live I was raised by my grandparents, so I got a lot of this. But you're kind of given something by your grandparents and they don't give you a break until they've seen you use it in a sense. Like, any gift you get, and it's like, you, have you used it yet? Have you tried it yet? Have you made sure it works? Have you kept the original box in case it doesn't, because then it can be returned? I got that a lot. I got that with every toy I bought, every console. I think I still have all of my original console boxes. Uh, I, I used to get... Uh, so before my, my grandparents would remotely trust Amazon, which they still sort of don't, but that's mostly because I buy so much from it. Uh, but before they trusted Amazon, anytime I wanted something and would want to buy it from Amazon, this admittedly was when I didn't have my own money, or I was briefly borrowing some money, either way. The, for a while, it was always buy it locally, because then if it breaks, it's easy to return. And it's like, well, I get where you're coming from, but locally doesn't have most of the things that you can get now. Like Amazon, you can get anything in Amazon. You know, you can get ridiculous stuff on Amazon. You can't get half of that, like, locally. Especially, I live in a fairly small town. Well, small in the grand scheme of things. One of the larger ones in Northern Ireland. But, um, yeah, it's it's like, oh, buy it locally. It's like, there's no one locally does it. It's like, I wanted to buy a really nice guitar once. You couldn't get it locally. You can't get it on Amazon, admittedly, but couldn't get it locally. Uh, you also couldn't get, like, my PC Locally, you couldn't get any of those components locally. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it was fun trying to explain that to them for years. There's a lot of things that my grandparents are not used to that they weren't once upon a time, such as me recording. Uh, they, they, they used to just not care. And after four years of yelling, basically, they, uh, they eventually realized, oh, he is recording. He is, he's just, he's not just wasting time playing video games. He is doing something. Uh, so yeah, that was, that was interesting. Just, uh, trying to get them, you know, to understand what YouTube is. I don't think they do still. They don't, they still don't quite get it. But yeah, I feel like a lot of people's grandparents and parents sort of don't quite get it. It's a di different generation, really. Anyway, I don't know where that topic came from. Oh, no, it came from the curtains, didn't it? Yeah, it was completely unnecessary, that topic is what I should say, but hopefully you enjoyed that bit of conversation. Uh, I like that the first little bit of roof here is up already. These houses are going to be nice. I know I shouldn't have set it to build all of them at once because it would have been done quicker, but I like, you know, seeing this little construction site here. That net worth is actually climbing quite quickly. Food is also doing very, very well for itself. So I imagine once the houses are done, uh, net worth will probably be around 20,000. But ladies and gents, I reckon I'm going to leave it there for today. Uh, we've got five houses going in. It's a lot of work to be done, but it's going to be good when it is done. We can redo the town square at some point once I've got all the buildings in here, because if I don't, then it's just going to be a bit of a pain. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thank you, Kenneth, for watching. This has been Stonehearth Alpha... 20? Alpha 9. It's not Alpha 20. That's Alpha 20. What's Alpha 20? Wait, it is it is Alpha 20. I was looking at I'm looking at my schedule and I saw Software Inc. Alpha 9. Yeah. Stonehearth Alpha 20. Uh part what is it? 10? 11? 
I have no idea. 10? 10. Right, good. Good. I do apologize. Uh, I record a lot of videos, okay? <laughs> Give me a break. Yeah, this has been Stonehearth, and uh, I'll see you next time. Uh, bye bye <laughs>